Hello children, how are you all? Fine? Very good. I am here to teach second language English to the students of class 4 and today we are going to learn about the poem in the fields. Children, before we begin the class, please be ready with your textbook, notebook and pencil so that you can note down what is being done in today's class. Makle ni vala en madbeko, ni ma English textbook, notebook, matta pencil tagondo ready agir beko. Ni u ready agidre, iwa tina paata dalli en alla na ukalt koti wo, adana ni wo ni impust kadalli note madko bodo. Are you all ready, children? Ellaru ready agidira? Hagaru iwa tina class shuru madanwa? Very good. Children, first let's learn the meanings of the new words. Modeli ge na wo. होसा पदगळु मत्तु अधर अर्थवन्न तिल कोड़न The first word is raise meaning lift Raise अंदर येनो एत्तो नाव यावदे उन्दु अस्तु अन्न मेलक्के एत्ति तीवी अल्वा अधुना येन हेल्टिवी इंग्लिश अली raise Class अली मिस प्रश्ने केल्दगा नी वेलर येन मड़तिरा the word is raise meaning lift. The next word is chew meaning bite food. Chew andre no bite food. Ye no chew andre agi. Ili ni uchitra dal nod bodo makre. Yen marta dhani udga. Anna na bai ghak kondo yen marta dhani agi ta idhani. Alva adena na English alien helte bi chew. The next word is dappled, meaning marked with spots of color. Dappled and reno, marked with spots of color. Spots of color and reno, bottu botta gir wudu. Kelome kelondu was to gold melee nirte, chuke chuke ne rete. Alva, adike na vain hilti ve, dappled. Iri ti ni wo, chuke galana, ato bottu galana, karn wudu. Adike na English alain hilti ve. Dappled, marked with spots of color. The next word is cropping, meaning biting off the hay. Cropping and reno, kattari so. Ili niu nod bodo, imola yen marta de. Alirua, hulgal nalla ba in the kattar stai de. Aduna na vene ilti English ali. Cropping, biting off the hay. The next word is hay, meaning Dried grass. Hay and reno, una hullo. Egastani vala nodri. Amola in martaito, una hullana, katarisi tintaito. Idina navain and takariti. Hay meaning dried grass. Children, did you all listen attentively to the meanings of the words? Yes, then here's an activity for you. Nivala padagal arthana, gumna it to keris kondidre. Iga nivala e activity na correct agi martira. What is the activity? Match the following. What do you have to match? New words with their meanings. Iga now kaltanta hosa padagalana, there are the jotege nivo match marbeko. Correct tag martira alva? Let's begin. Children, we have three columns. Column A has the new words and column C has the meanings. You have to match the meaning with the word. Let's see if you can get all the answers right. The first word is raise. What is the meaning children? Yes, it is lift. The second word is chew. What is the right meaning? Very good children. It is bite food. The third word is dappled. What is the meaning of dappled? Yes, you are absolutely right. It is marked with spots. Next one is cropping. And the right meaning is biting off the hay. The last word is hay, meaning yes, it is dry grass. Well done children, you all did the activity very well. I hope you all will practice the new words and their 
meanings at home. Now, here is an another activity for you. Pick the animal that lives on a farm. Nivala in Madbeko, Naniga Kelondu Pranigala Chitra on a Torustene, Adrali Nivo, Farm, Farm Andre, Holaga de Galalina, Kano and the Pranigala Nivo, I came Madbeko. Martiralva correct again? Let's begin. Now, here is a farm, and we have two birds here peacock and duck. Which animal do you find on the farm? Yes, you are right. It is the duck. A duck lives in a farm. Let us look at the next picture. Giraffe, horse. Which animal lives on the farm children? Can you identify it? Yes, it is a horse. Horse lives on a farm. The next animals are deer and sheep. Can you guess the right animal? Yes, it is the sheep. Here comes the next one, crocodile or a cow. Yes, it is the cow. Here we have a pig and a hippopotamus. Which animal lives on the farm? You are right children, it is the pig. A pig lives on a farm. Here we have a hen and a penguin. Yes, it is a hen. A hen lives in the farm. Now, let us look at all the animals one more time that live on the farm. Cow, horse, pig, sheep and duck. All these animals live in the farm. Now, can you tell me what these animals do on a farm? E pranigalo, hula gadagalali in marate, aliruanta hulugalo, yelegalana, tintarete. E hula gadagalige, in healthy we now Englishally, idike maton hisride, in under field. All these animals graze in the field. Now we were to Kalita Irwanta Padia the Hesrenu Gotamakle in the fields. Children, you all can come to page number 81 in your textbook. Now I am going to read the poem and you have to listen very attentively. Naniga i Padiavana, Otene, Nivala Gamna ito, Kelskobek. Ellaruni Manima, Pustaka Gadana, open Madit Kondo, Gamna ito, Kelskobek. One day, I saw a big brown cow raise her head and chew. I said, Good morning, Mrs. Cow. But all she said was moo. One day I saw a woolly lamb. I followed it quite far. I said, Good morning, little lamb. But all she said was ba. One day I saw a dappled horse cropping in the hay. I said, Good morning, Mr. Horse. But all she said was nay. Children, did you all listen attentively? Very good. Children, now is the time to sing a rhyme. Do listen to it and practice to sing the poem at home later. In the fields. One day I saw a big brown cow. One day I saw a big brown cow. Raise her head and chew, raise her head and chew. I said good morning, Mrs. Cow. I said good morning, Mrs. Cow. But all she said was moo. But all she said was moo. But all she said was moo. 
One day I saw a woolly lamb. One day I saw a woolly lamb. I followed it quite far. I followed it quite far. I said good morning, little lamb. I said good morning, little lamb. But all it said was ba. But all it said was ba. One day I saw a dappled horse. One day I saw a dappled horse cropping in the hay. Cropping in the hay. I said good morning, Mr. Horse. I said good morning, Mr. Horse. But all it said was nay. But all it said was nay. Children, I think now you have understood the poem very well. Now here is an activity for you. Answer the following questions. Nani ga kelo ondu prashnigalanna keltane. Hage adakke mooru options kortane. Nivu correct ada option anna aike madbeku. Shall we begin? Let's look at the first question. The color of the cow was dash. Hasu yava color alitto? Option A black. Option B brown. Option C black and brown. What is the right answer children? Yes, it is brown. The color of the cow was brown. The second question is the little lamb had dash. Little lamb mai mele ye nitto. Option A silk. Option B cotton. Option C wool. Sariyada utra yaudu heli makle? Yes, it is option C wool. The next question is the poet said good morning Mr. Horse. The horse said dash. E padyadali horse atra hogi aur en heltare? Good morning anta heltare. Adake a horse en anta utra kurtu? Nodanva. Option A nay. Option B ba. Option C moo. What is the right answer, children? Yes, it is option A nay. Here is the fourth question. When the poet saw the cow, she was dash. Hasu hatra hogi nordaga, hasu yen martaito. Option A raise her head and run. Ado taleeti odito. Option B raise her head and chew. Ado taleeti hulana bayali agitaito. Option C raise her head and moo. Taleeti moo and the sound martaito. Yaudu idral correct answer. Yes, it is option B raise her head and chew. Fifth question. When the poet saw the horse, it was dash. Padhyadalli nao kudurayanna nodudvi. Adu yen maadutta itto? Option A, neighing. Option B, trotting around. Option C, cropping in the hay. Adu neighing anta shabdha maadutta itta? Atwa, alli illi oda aadutta itta? Atwa, option C, adu hullanna kattarasi tinta itta? Yaw do idrali correct ad answer ho? Yes, it is option C, cropping in the hay. The next question is, when the poet saw the little lamb, he dash. Padhya dalli, ondhu little lamb vanna nodud ro. Nodud mele avru, yen madud ro? Option A, he followed it. Option B, he tied it. Option C, he gave it food. Which is the right answer children? Yes, it is option A. He followed it. Well done children. You all guessed the answers right. Now, 
let's move on to our today's next topic sounds of animals namma ivattina mundina topic yavudu sounds of animals ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳು ಮಾಡುವ ಶಬ್ದಗಳು ಯಾವುದು ಅದರ ಹೆಸರೇನು ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ಗೆಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆಯಾ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಲ್ವ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ದ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಡೂ ಲಿಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೀಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಲ್ಯಾಂಬ್ ಬಾ 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 ಮೂ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಕಾವ್ ಮೂ 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 ನೈ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಹಾರ್ಸ್ Nay, nay, nay. Trot like a horse. Trot, trot, trot. Hiss like a snake. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Children, did you all listen to the sounds of the animals? Illa prani gadu ondhe tara shabda madatva? Illa. Ondhe undhu prani ondhe undhu tara shabda madatte. A shabda gali ke yen hissro? Anta na vivatu til kodana. The first animal is a donkey. Do you know what sound a donkey makes? A donkey brays. A donkey brays. Katte maduva shabdakke na venanta karitevi? Brays. Let's look at the next animal. Which animal is it? It is a cow. ಹಸುವಿಗೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ಹಸಿವಾದಾಗ ಅದು ಏನ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಮಾಡತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಅಂಬ ಅಂತ ಕರೆಯತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಕ್ಕಾವ್ ಬೆಲ್ಲೋಸ್ ಅಕ್ಕಾವ್ ಬೆಲ್ಲೋಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗೋಟ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ದ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಗೋಟ್ A goat bleats. What is the sound? A goat bleats. Let's look at the next animal. What do we have here? It is a pig. Let's listen to the pig sound. A pig snorts. Now let's look at the next animal. What do we have here? It is a snake. Do you know what sound a snake makes? A snake hisses. A snake hisses. Let's look at the next animal. What do we have here? It is a hen. Come on, let's listen to the sound of a hen now. A hen cackles now do you all remember the names of the sounds of animals here's an activity for you match the animals with their sounds en madbeku nevu praanigalanna adara sound jothege correct agi match madbeku children please come to page number 83 in your textbook the same activity is given there you all can do it now shall we begin yes they have already done the first one a donkey brays now what is the next animal we have a goat what is the sound of a goat yes a goat bleats what is the next animal it is a pig what is the sound of a pig a pig snorts the next animal is a snake what sound does a snake make a snake hisses the last one is a hen what sound does a hen make a hen cackles a hen cackles well done children you all got the answers right let's move on to our next topic rhyming words what are rhyming words ರೈಮಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆಯಾ ರೈಮಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಸಪದ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರಾಸಪದಗಳು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದು ಏನು ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ರೈಮಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೇಮ್ 
or similar ending sound. Rhyming words and the no? Yerudu padagalu. A padagalali, yenu on the terrair beku. Ending sound. Ending sound and the no? Koneeli baruanta sound. Ado on the rithialir beku. Let's look at the example. What picture is this, children? It is a house. And this one, mouse. Come on, repeat after me. House, mouse. Now, here the word house rhymes with mouse. Nani in here the rhyming padagalali kone sound on the rithir beku. House, idralini the kone ali sound o ows. Mouse, idrali kone ali baruanta sound hegi de ows. The ending sounds are same. House, mouse. Let us look at one more example. What is this? Shell. Shell. What picture is this? Bell. Bell. Right? Now, the word shell rhymes with bell. Now, let us look at the ending sounds here. What is the ending sound? L. L. And here, what is the ending sound? L. L. So, shell. Bell. What are the words? Shell, bell. I think now we have understood the rhyming words. Now, let us do an activity to check your understanding. Here is an activity to know how well you have understood the rhyming words. E activity al niven madbeko. Illi nanian kotidini. Muru glass kotidini. The first glass is for the word. Ending with the sound out. E glass alini vein marbeko. Yava pada ending sound out. Antaidio. A pada na e glass al hakpeko. And the second glass is for the words ending with the sound own. Own. E glass ali yava pada galana hakpeko. Kone ali own. Anu shabda baru antha pada galana e glass al hakpeko. And here is your third glass and you have to put the words ending with the sound A. A. E glass al yav padagalana hakpeko. Yava padadali konea shabda A. Antabaruto. A padagalana e glass ali hakpeko. Hagari padagalali ve. It is in the jar. E jar olagale nama padagali ve. Adana ni vu correct tagi. E glass or gray hakpeko. Shall we begin the activity? Let us start then. The first word is crowd. Jara lirwanta modala pada yaudo. Crowd. Crowd. Yau glass al hakana. Oud. Oun. A. Can you guess, children? Yes, you are right. It is oud. Crowd. The word crowd draws into the first glass. Here is your second word. Ray. What is the word? Ray. Yau glass al haak podo. Oud. Aun. A. Yau glass al haak tira. Yes, you are right. It is A. Ray. A. Very good children. Here is your next word. Frown. What is the word? Frown. Now, tell me in which glass shall we put it? Oud, own, a. You are right children. It is in own. And what is the word? Frown. Well done children. Let us look at the next word. Day. The word is day. Yau glass al haak podo. Oud, own, a. The word is a. Day goes into the glass ending with the sound a. The next word is proud. In which glass do you think it goes into? The first glass, second glass or the third glass? 
Yes, it is the first glass. Proud. The ending sound is oud. And here is your last word. Brown. It goes into which jar? The ending sound oun. Brown. Makle, yegan imge prasa padagalu andre rhyming words andre. Yeno anta artha girbeko. Yiri ti alini wo rhyming words na practice mar bodo. Now is your homework time. The first activity is learn to recite the poem in the fields. Modelne homework keno. इवत्तु नाव कल्तंत हा पद्य इन्द फील्ड्स न निवो प्रैक्टिस मार्ट बेको नोड दिरा हेलो दिके प्रैक्टिस मार्ट बेको एंड द सेकंड होमवर्क इज इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक पेज नंबर 85 सम वर्ड्स आर किवन इन द कप डिवाइड देम इनटू टू ग्रुप्स इवत्तु नावो राइमिंग वर्ड्स अली ये एक्टिविटी ना मार्डी देवी इल्ले मत्तस्तु प according to the ending sound. Children do complete the homework, show it to your teacher at school. Hope you all enjoy today's class. I will see you soon again in the next class with the second part of the same lesson. Until then, see you. Bye.